Hey guys, this is Ronnie from Manhattan, New York. So I am 11 weeks and three days pregnant. This is my sixth pregnancy, my fifth kid, and baby is the size of a kumquat, which is a fruit, um, fingers and toes are developing. Excuse me, guys. I just woke up from a nap. So, um, excuse the hair. My pink has faded. As you guys see, it's like really, it's almost like it's blonde, but it's not. It's pink. It's just really faded. I'm going to grow out the black which is my natural hair color. Um, I haven't seen the black in years. Um, so this is going to be an exciting process for me. Um, I hope that I'm not too hard on myself when it does grow in. So my natural black is growing in. My hair can go is shoulder length. It could go in a ponytail. It's just that much tail. Excuse me. These days, I am super sleepy. Like, super, super, super sleepy. Um, I cooked yesterday, and I haven't cooked in months. Wait, no. I made some steak a couple weeks ago. And... Then I made some tacos a couple weeks after that. And then a couple weeks later, I made shrimp alfredo yesterday. Um, I haven't cooked in a minute. I just have not been having the energy, especially since I was working. I was buying food out more often than cooking in the house. So I'm back to cooking in the house because... Your girl then lost a huge chunk of her income by quitting my job. But you have to know your worth, you know? You have to know what you're willing to put up with and what you're not. Money's not everything. Um, you know, it's so easy to say don't stay someplace where you're not welcome, but you got bills to pay. So it's like you sit there and only to pay your bills and then god forbid it's stressing you out so much you feel like life is, is just draining so um what else baby looks good i posted my sonogram picture on my in my stories so you guys should be able to see that or if you want to check my Facebook, you can see it on Facebook or on Instagram. You can see my first official bedside sonogram. Um, the first first sonogram, the baby was like a, literally a dot. It was just like a little ball. So I didn't post that one this pregnancy. Um, but uh, yeah, the lady was so mean who did my sonogram, my first sonogram. She was like, she didn't even call it a fetus. She called it, I forgot the name of what you call, like what you call a pregnancy in the early stages, the medical terminology, that's what she called it. I was like, damn, you couldn't have said it's a fetus. You couldn't have been like, I was pregnant. I was on the table for like half an hour. You couldn't say, oh miss, you know you're feeling pain because you're pregnant. Like, <laughs> she, she was mean, y'all. Yeah. She was mean. Um, so I didn't get my first picture of a sonogram picture until I went to my OB and she did a bedside sonogram. I seen a doctor because um, they said my pregnancy is high risk, unfortunately, because I'm diabetic and they worried about me developing preeclampsia, which... I've never had it any of my pregnancies, so fingers crossed I don't develop that in this pregnancy because I just keep developing new symptoms as I get older. 
I get tired of fighting and arguing with people, and I just be like, you know what, fuck it. Then what I got now? <laughs> so, um, I've been having contractions, so I had to go to the emergency room, and they basically was like, because I'm 11, I was 11 and 2 when I went to the emergency room, so 11 weeks and 2 days, so they were like, um, if you're miscarrying, you're miscarrying. Um, they also said I was spotting. When they did an exam and looked at the cervix, they said I'm spotting at the cervix. And she swabbed it. And then another doctor came in hours later and he swabbed it. And I was still bleeding. So that was like concerning for me. They afraid my cervical cancer might be coming back. So I'm just like what's next what's new um just sitting here trying to take it one day at a time um i found out that news monday night going into going into tuesday morning so there goes that but they said the baby looks good um they said they would like me to repeat a, a um, oh God, I forgot, the, a pap smear to make sure that it's not the cervical cancer coming back. Um, if the pap smear looks good, then nine times out of 10, it's not the cervical cancer coming back. So I don't know when, I'll, I'll probably do that the next time I see the doctor which is June 29th, and today is June 7th, I believe. Yeah, today is June 7th. So, pray for me, y'all, but um, overall, the baby looks good. I'm not really bumping yet, so I don't really have any pictures to show you guys. I promise as soon as there's a bump, I will show you guys in video, in pictures, I will show you guys the bump, but I'm still early. So as you guys know, my bump miraculously comes out like at 16 weeks. So all of a sudden I look and I'm like, oh man, cool. I'm I'm now showing that I'm pregnant. So yeah, let's just fingers crossed. Um, I've been taking it easy, lots of rest because I've been really tired too and exhausted and lethargic so it's kind of the symptoms i felt before when i had cervical cancer so or it could just be i'm pregnant and it's been almost three years since my last pregnancy so i don't remember exactly this feeling of being so tired and exhausted i do remember being moody i am moody I'm moody and bitchy. Like, shit pisses me off. And I go from zero to 100 in, like, five seconds since I've been pregnant. And I'm like, shit don't usually piss me off like this. Like, why? Why I gotta be this type of pregnant? But it is what it is. Um, What else? What else? I turned 12 weeks on Saturday, so I'm gonna try to um I'm gonna try to film. I've been taking prenatal vitamins, the ones that the doctor prescribed, not this time, not the ones that I had ordered. Last pregnancy, I um I bought my prenatal vitamins over the counter at Target. Um, in case you guys need prenatal vitamins. You can always ask your doctor to prescribe it for you, but if you have to pay for it with your insurance and it's not free, you might as well get it the cheapest way. I think they're like $5 at Target, like no lie, and it gives you like 380 pills. So you cannot go wrong. So I had um, bought it over the counter last pregnancy because it was so cheap and um, they was like, they was like, um, it was like, 20 pills and they wanted me to pay like a three dollar copay and i was like i could just buy a, a bunch of prenatal pills from target you know it's the up and up brand i don't know if it's still the up and up brand but the target brand and it's like five dollars 
so yeah there's that um i bought the shea moisture pink himalayan salt body wash i have yet to use it um i should show you guys a mini haul but like i said i'd be so tired and so sleepy you guys gotta wait till like i'm in my second trimester that's when i get my energy back and so my second trimester begins on saturday so give me like a week or two into my second trimester and i'll be getting those hauls back up for you guys clothing hauls um makeup hauls household item hauls cleaning hauls me cleaning the house hauls me cooking i'll be back to it because i now have more time on my hands because i'm not working anymore so i'm currently a stay-at-home mom again after so it's thumbs up this video share it like it subscribe to my channel to stay there with me and my life be blessed as i'll do the same again this is brownie from manhattan new york Mwah.